Throughout human history, there have been martial arts created for a variety of reasons. Warfare, fitness, sport, and much more. One of these is Hapkido. Hapkido, a comprehensive Korean martial art, traces its roots back to the ancient Korean martial art of Horangdo, which dates to the 6th century. However, modern Hapkido emerged in the mid-20th century, thanks to Choi Yong Sul and his students, who combined traditional Korean techniques with Japanese Deitiro Aiki Jiu-Jitsu. Hapkido is characterised by its fluidity, adaptability and emphasis on non-resistance. Hapkido is a versatile martial art that incorporates various techniques including joint locks, throws, strikes and kicks. Its three core principles, non-resistance, circular motion and the water principle, guide the practice and execution of these techniques. Non-resistance focuses on redirecting an opponent's force rather than confronting it head on, while circular motion involves moving around an opponent's attack to create opportunities for counterattacks. The water principle emphasizes adaptability and flowing around obstacles, much like water does in nature. Practitioners learn to neutralize threats using minimal force, often by exploiting an opponent's weaknesses or using their strength against them. Hapkido's emphasis on fluidity and adaptability also prepares students to handle some real-life situations where the environment and circumstances are constantly changing. Hapkido training involves mastering various techniques, practicing forms known as hoyang, and engaging in sparring sessions. Students also learn to develop their internal energy or ki through meditation and breathing exercises. The philosophy of Hapkido centers around harmony and balance, both within oneself and others. Practitioners are encouraged to cultivate a strong moral compass and seek personal growth through martial arts training. If you'd like to hear us talk about more areas of martial arts and history, please do like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.